I gave my cats away for you. I'm not the one, though, who can't find somebody in my own country to f*** me. Why would you ever be that desperate? Like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god. I gave my cats away for you. Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. I gave my cats away for you. <laughs> What up, girl gang? It is so good to see you guys. Long time no bees. Holy crap. Didn't mean to take the whole weekend off. Was gonna go live on Sunday. Then fuck shit happened and here we are Monday. Oh, how is everybody? Good to see you. I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope you all had a great Monday. Fuck all that noise. We're here for a rage stream. Woo! I heard on the Twitter, the little birdie told me that she is hangry and in a fucking mood and raging and yada, yada, yada. So we're going to start with that one tonight. We're going in reverse al alphabetical. Oh, boy, it's starting bad. We're going in reverse chronological order tonight. We're going to start with the late Iftar Bees the live stream that she just did a little while ago, the rage stream. And then we will watch Shopping and Iftar at City Center in Kuwait during Ramadan 2024, aka slamming your gunt up on a table that is way too small for your gunt. Can't wait to watch that one. But we're starting with the rage. I'm in the mood to fight. It's a perfect night for it. Woo! Thank you, Chantal, for this blessing on a Monday. Before we get into it, I just want to say it now so that in case I forget to say it, at 9 p.m. Eastern, so literally three hours from right now, we're going to go live on Twitch. We're playing Jackbox games. I'm, it's like it's like crack, okay? I'm hooked on that shit like crack, so that's the plan for later on. I just don't want to forget to tell you at the end of this. Without further ado, let's get our raid stream on. Hold on, let me get the tab. Woo! Hold on before the tab. Fork Sniffers Anonymous, thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday. You got a little rager for your birthday. I love that so much. Congratulations. Thank you for being here and spending a little of your birthday with us. Can I wish you a happy birthday in the salad voice? <laughs> dog like Triumph the dog. It does come off as Triumph the dog, doesn't it? <clears throat> Fork Sniffers Anonymous. You want to stay anonymous. <laughs> I tried to stay anonymous. You saw what happened to me. Ramadan, Ramadan. Fork Sniffers Anonymous, happy birthday. For your birthday gift, I will worship your ass for eight hours. <laughs> happy birthday, Ramadan, Ramadan. All right. <clears throat> I hope that was good. I'm a little cracked out. Forgive me. I'm excited. We got a rager. Let me get the tab. Woo! Oh, she looks nuts. Ramadan. Look at that face. Look at it. She looks like an angry sperm. 
You know, like all the other little sperms are swimming along and they're happy to reach the egg. Like, wow, wow. They got faces on like, wow. And then there's this jackass, this fat fucking lazy sperm swimming along like, you know what? I'm fed up with this fucking swim. I'm fed up with this fucking tube. I'm fed up with all of you. And she's like eating all the sperms around her. Ramadan. Ricky, it's Julie. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, I hope you're enjoying your vacation. Cousin Hatsish. Uh-oh. No, oh, not the cousins. Well, enjoy the rest of your vacation, girl. Hey, Michelle. Michelle. Dernay, close. Michelle, Lisa, hello. Lini, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, thank you, Iona. Uh, bismillah. Hi, Krista. I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, she's uh, really going fast on those fries. I should have mentioned we have her sped up to 1.5 speed. Um, if it's too fast, we can slow her down, but it, it never really is. <laughs> Sassy Mama, thank you for the super chat. This live stream smells like she missed you. I heard she's talking shit about me. I haven't been around in days. Why is it every time I'm not around for days, she just comes at me for no fucking reason? Is it that you're hangry? Are you taking out your frustrations about your scat man? Or is it just that you missed me? I think that's what it is. She's a creep. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. The eight hour still thing still gets me. Like, doesn't your jaw hurt? You know what? You'd think, eh? I'm not doing anything for eight hours unless I'm clocked in. Fuck all that noise. He's insane. And then kissing was only 15 minutes. <laughs> I put my mic on after I eat so you guys don't hear those. Eating sounds too loud. I'm Sarah Jean, why that comes along? Hello. Hello, Aerotrans. Thank you. Yeah, it's an undercap. But I bought a few of them. I forgot to put it in my video. I'm so mad at myself. Hey, Jack. Kiki, kiki, kiki. Thank you. A level. Broke. I have some chapati fries. I'll show you guys as I eat it. Hi, Vanessa. Spicy chicken. Pickle soup. No, Chris, not yet. Okay, this is a choice. So she's now matching eyeshadow to the hijab under thing. That seems kind of weird. Doesn't okay. It's sort of like the equivalent of matching your eyeshadow to like a hairband or something. And that seems fucking weird. That does seem very 80s though. I bet you that was a thing in the 80s. And since she's stuck there mentally, I guess it makes sense. I'm overanalyzing her weirdness. Tony D, thank you for the super chat. Got a raise today. Well, congratulations. The tan one. Thank you, Jaina. It's a little intense, but I did it quick. <laughs> Hold on. Who is, wait, uh, Miss Muerta, thank you for the super chat. Who is Yaba? Yaba's significance? Yaba is uh, the reaction channel, the YouTube underground. That's Yaba. Oh my gosh, Sarah Jean, that's funny. <laughs> Good surprise. It's a potent yum. Good stuff. Hi, Caroline. Hey, Freya. So I had a nap today after Asur. Oh! What's that? This thing blew up. Hey, Blue Plot. I'm giving Mimi. Mimi was a. You know what it is, Miling Cyrus? I think it doesn't look so bad today because at least it was applied today. We're so used to seeing her with like yesterday's makeup, the makeup of like after a nap and stuff, a whole ass mess. And I think just because this was actually applied today, to, it's like not as bad as usual. I fucked up. The suck. Welcome to Lamps, you Anne. So anyways... I woke up to hearing the attend for um, Maglib for breakfast time. So I'm like, oh no. So I woke up, just had like some little things in the fridge, some dates ordered and it was busy. So food just got here. Really, Aerotrans? Hi, little nitty. Ooh, Christy, thank you for the super chat, girl. Enjoy your Friday. I just filming that mall Chinese vlog days ago, but posting it now to cover your border open. Why do people care? Like, even if that was the case, what's the tea? 
Even if it was the case, we know that it was the case. Okay, okay, this is like a spoiler alert because we haven't watched it together. But what we're going to watch after this, the stupid mall the vlog that she did, there's a beezer or like a viewer who approaches her apparently during that vlog, okay? And she mentioned that on live stream ages ago. So this video that she put out, the mall bees thing, it, it's not in real time. She's fudging with the, the timeline now. So... It gave it away when she left that in the edit of the video. All she had to do was edit that little part out, but she's too lazy. So, Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Rap battle was so fun. I love the rap battle game. It is so much fun. Tonight, we're going to start with the murder game, and then we'll we'll see. We'll play it by ear, all right? Uh, Roach, thank you for the super chat. The fat is starting to seep into her eyelid folds. Yes. Remember the whole thing two years ago? She's got the puffy eyelids. You can't even tell now it's puffy eyelid because the whole eyelid is just... A big fat, it's like a little pillow for her eyeball. Hmm. Ronnie D, thank you for the super sticker. Like, really? Yes, Brooke. <laughs> After so cool close five dreams. Yeah, I had some weird dreams last night. Oh my gosh. I had a dream that I had to do number one very bad. And um, like so bad. And I kept having to go into the stranger's home to go to the bathroom and it wasn't like giving me relief. And then on the, while I'm like going, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I have a catheter. And then I had to try to get to a clinic. Oh my God, it was just weird. <laughs> Blue pot. After fasting time, I guess. No, yeah, I still do wear makeup. Whatever. Hello, Paul. For Whatever. Ah, perfect. Perfect. When confronted about wearing makeup and you just said that you were just uh, praying, you know, I still wear makeup. Whatever. The cosplay continues. I don't want to hear it ever from anyone. It's not cosplay. Oh, it's not your place to say it's cosplay. This bitch turns praying and all this crap into content. And she's lying and doing it insincerely and cosplaying it. So shush. Yes. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. She, if you're not going to do it, just don't do it. Don't make it into content on your channel and no one would judge it. When you turn it into content and you bring it to the internet, we're going to judge. And I stand by what I said. This is a cosplay and a very bad one at that. Freed, hi. Chicken sandwich, yum. I love those. Uh, sure, Meshiel. You guys can ask questions. If I'll answer them, that's a different story. <laughs> by the way, I saw a few comments. What kind of pizza? Yeah, I'm Krista. What's the beef ribs? <laughs> I'm eating sambusa, fries, chapati 65. Anyway, somebody must have been saying something that's not true from one of the reaction channels. I can probably guess who. That my husband doesn't have a job, so I, I get these comments. Okay. Keep in mind, keep in mind, I haven't been online since Friday. Like, all we've done is play games. So, since Friday, she's waiting to rage over this one? Psychotic. We well, you know, well, what, she just found out? No, 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 no. She was sitting in our live on Friday like she always is. Let's be real. So, she just held on to this one until Monday to rage about it. Fucking insane. She's a, a crazy person. Ms. Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. She's too lazy. God for it. He can't do it either. So we're going to see the dangling uh, decorations. You know? Ramadan. Can tell when someone's been talking crap because I get stupid comments. Okay. Number one, he has a business. So how does he have no job? Thank you, Jenna. Well, it's very simple. His father bought him into the business so that he could declare to the government that he has a job. Because if not, they would have kicked his ass back to Syria, where he's actually from. And that's the passport that he holds, right? So in order to stay, he's got to have some kind of job on paper anyway. You guys love the loopholes in the law. <laughs> so his daddy buys him into some fucking bunk perfume company that only exists, by the way, so that other people who aren't Kuwaiti can have a job on paper to the government. Doesn't mean you sell shit. Doesn't mean he does shit. Doesn't mean that company is really worth a damn. But in the eyes of the government of Kuwait, he's got a job. In the eyes of everybody who has eyes, he's a bum bitch living off your little YouTube 
And w- uh, listen, I, I don't presume to assume how he makes his little pocket money. Okay. But whatever he does is how he does. There's no job. Shut the hell up, Chantal. Don't think as usual that we're as dumb as you are. You're the one who bought the story about him having a perfume company. No one else is that stupid. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Wonder which country she went to for her border hopping too busy to uh, trying to spike girl world and missing out on content and views. What a dummy. Yeah, it's true. That's a good point. It would have been something different for once to film. You know what I mean? She she loves to be this world traveler, but no, can't tell girl world they're bang on about the visa thing. No, no, no. Hi, Star. 822 here. Catnip young. Number two, how do you know he doesn't have another job? Like, you don't know anything about this, anything about his life. You don't know anything about this situation, okay? But if it's coming from the reactor, reactor, I think it is. If you're going to call anyone's man a bum, <laughs> what about yours? Your history of uh, men. Who brought you eight evictions? So please. Web your fat face before you ever tell me to shut it, you fucking degenerate, okay? Delulu, degenerate, bald, barren, bankrupt, <laughs> um, beast of a behemoths, okay? Before you talk about my man, can, and can it? You have some fucking nerve. You know what I've never dated before or fake married before? A scat man who waited for me to blink too long to find some dipshit on the internet to talk about graping. And, and coming on Bibles. Hmm? <laughs> you and me, bitch, we are not the same. Not the same at all. Uh, that was an actual relationship of nine years in the same country. I didn't have to make anybody papers. Uh, I certainly, certainly, I just want to keep going back to the, the grape thing. Because to find out that your man has fantasies of graping Western women and hates Western women, and you run back to that, and now you got the sauce all over your face while you tell anyone else to can it and talk about their relationship history? You don't know jack shit about my relationship history. You know about one bum, one fucking bum. And you know what, Chantal? There's only been the one bum. You know why, Chantal? Most people go through things in life, learn a lesson, and then don't go through it again. (laughs) <laughs> you're dating or dating. You've got two bums now back to back. One was a fake relationship and the next one is a fake marriage. Both are using you for something. You're just too dense to see that both of them are using you. You denied it when it was coking. You're denying it right now. It's the exact same thing. It's just a different hustle. You're so stupid. You would fall for it a third time in a row and a fourth time in a row and a fifth time in a row. You don't learn a fucking lesson. You're too dumb. Okay. So before you want to talk about my relationship history, don't forget yours, you fucking desperate loser. Because of one loser, the crackhead who didn't want you, the woman stabbing, woman woman beating, uh, charged with grape himself, didn't want you. (laughs) So to spite him, you went and cosplayed on the other side of the world to a perfect fucking stranger who's using you for papers. That's your relationship history, dumbass. Brooke Reed, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. It's no one's business, yeah. But people like to say, look at Casey, never had a job. Actually, in his defense, we worked at the same call center, making decent money for the time. At least it's a job, okay? Don't crap on a job, I guess. We had a job. We were younger. We worked at the same place for years together. Then he worked at Walmart. Then he had another customer service job for a few years, which he walked every single day, like a couple of miles to get to, in the snow or not. Wow, that's really great. Pete's had jobs. Tell me, Chantal, uh, between which of those jobs was he writing his grape fantasy animes? Between which of those jobs was he letting Timbit, or just neglecting Timbit, and letting Timbit die. Hmm? You you t- put that on the timeline for us between all these fucking jobs that Pete's has done. Pete's is another useless fucking human being. That's why you two losers found each other on this planet. You understand? The only time, and he has a job now. 
The only time he didn't have a job was when he was doing YouTube. Hi, Squeaky Frog. No, no, no. Don't pretend like he did anything on YouTube. He didn't make shit on YouTube. The only time he didn't have a job was when Chantal was lonely. She hadn't met Koki yet. And she convinced Pete's to quit his job. We saw it all play out. And Pete's was very happy to quit his job. And you paid the bills after that. <laughs> That's when Pete's quit his job. Shut up, Chantal. And he was earning some money. Wow. Imagine talking about a man pushing 40 and saying, he was earning some money. Am I, am I supposed to give up, get like a, a fucking round of applause for that shit? Another fucking bum. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. So if someone's going to sit there on their high horse and lie and say that this person was a bum, didn't have a job, <clears throat> and then make fun of me for being with Swordfish, who was a leech, the only only person, the person I was with before, um, uh, no, after Pete, had, still has a job, had a job the whole time. So where's that coming from? Lies, lies, lies. And that's right. The only one who's ever been worth a damn in your entire orbit, BB, had a job before you, had a job with you, has a job after you. The only character that is worth a damn that has ever been in your fucking orbit. And don't forget it, Chantel. He'll always be the one that got away. <laughs> and now you try and shit on him in retrospect, telling the stories like it changes a goddamn thing. Pete, uh, Pete's BB is the one that got away. BB could have always done better than you. BB settled for a while. And thank God BB escaped when he did. Okay. The only character that is worth a damn. Everyone else, absolute losers. Uh, Lord of the Fruit Flies. Thank you for the super chat. Deflection is her failed superpower. Absolutely. She's crazy. Not so funny bunny. Thank you for the super chat. I like your picture. That's cute. Brandon B. Thank you for the super chat. But seriously, eight hours, 10, 15 minutes in, and I'm getting a TMJ headache and jaw pain. Who's going for eight hours? Somebody who's never, ever done it for five minutes of their life. <laughs> Freak incel motherfucker with floppy tits and birth and hips. Remember that. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you're going to sit on your high horse and say that my men that have been with ha haven't had jobs and are bums, how about look at the bum you were with who caused you, apparently, according to you, to go to court eight times for not paying rent. Yeah. The fuck are you talking? She just wants to repeat that a couple of times. She just wants to repeat that a couple of times. Yes, I went to court eight times. Yes, I had eight debts. You know who's got no debts? Me, you fucking double bankruptcy bald baron bitch. You can't hang. You were too lazy to pay off your fucking debts. Your fucking debts that only come from stuffing your face and gaining 200 pounds online. That's where your debts come from. You couldn't handle paying those off even when you were flexing to a degenerate and an addict that you were making 20 grand a month. No, no, no. Let's cosplay. Let's throw on a hijab and go run to the other side of the world to escape the problems. You loser at 40 fucking years old. 40 fucking years old. And your debts came from your 30s. I was like 20s when all this shit happened. You are such a loser. Get on my fucking level, Chantal, and then try and talk shit. You are pathetic. And another thing that you just want to keep bringing this up tonight, I never, ever said that BB didn't have a job. I never said anything about their job. Tonight, I'm talking about everybody's fucking job. BB's the only one worth a damn. No one else in your entourage has a goddamn job, can keep a fucking job, or is employable in any way. A bunch of corn brain, corn fed, corn educated dipshits. Ah, suck it. <laughs> yeah, for real. Hey, Jenny, thank you for being here. Thank you for the chat. <laughs> I wish I could have no job. Start a social media account. People think it's like easy. It's easy if you're going to use my name for clout and views. Yeah, that's easy. You're sitting there stuffing your fat face using mine for clout. You don't have any clout. You understand? Dying channel. Nobody cares about Kuwait. Do you, are you are you implying right now that what you're doing right now is difficult? You're stuffing your face. For you, you know what would be difficult? Not eating through an entire live stream. No smoking, no eating, no oral fixation. That would be hard for you. I'd love to fucking see you try. Isabella, thank you for the super chat. Ham farts, thank yeah. you. I try. It's easy. 
to go online and say things like, you know, Fugiti is fat, she's in a fake marriage, all the same crap that's parroted all over Girl World. Yeah, that'll get you easy money. <laughs> go for it. Are you jealous? You're jealous, you know why? Because we sit here talking about your fake marriage and we make hella more money than you do actually cosplaying on the other world, uh, the other side of the world in the fake marriage. You're like, why doesn't my fake marriage benefit me? Why don't I make the money? Why? <laughs> You're jealous. Stay jelly, stay broke, stay cosplaying, stay stuffing your fat fucking face and pretending. Chantal. No one cares. Ariana, thank you for the super chat. That's right. She promised to drive him to work every day at 8 a.m. when they moved into the villa. Good. Yeah, that's a good point. However, that has nothing to do with why Pete's quit his job because Pete's was working when the lockdown happened. They moved over to like work from home. Pete's was working from home for months, but Pete's got too depressed to continue and she convinced him to quit his job because she was bored during the day while he was working. That's all it was. But if you're doing things from scratch, it's a different story. I know. What are you doing from scratch? She sits there eating a takeout meal, talking about doing things from scratch. Is that supposed to be the content? Do do some fucking content. What is this? Garbage, man. Have a sue, mom. Thank you for the super chat. I'm not like that. Exactly, Star. I don't give a crap about him, but whatever. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Touche? He's, no, he's here, Brenda. He's usually always here. Right? He was depressed and it was because he killed his own cat. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sad my cat died because I neglected it and let it die. Feel bad for me. Fuck off. Um, he has a business. He has business partners, but he's also in the business. Hmm. Yeah, we get the gist. We all understand the shtick at this point, okay? A bunch of Syrian guys who aren't Kuwaiti do a company, wink, wink, that they all have to buy into, except the, um, like, 51% owner of that company has to actually be a Kuwaiti. That's the only people who are allowed to own companies in Kuwait. So they make money off of these guys buying into a company that doesn't really exist. The company is the shell of a company just so that to the Kuwaiti government, it looks like all these losers have jobs. Um. Hi, Navi. Because he's available a lot during the time when you go live. By that, by that logic, then the people who stream snipe me and react to my content almost immediately after also have no jobs, like they claim, right? Because they always have the time. Look at look at uh, just beaten today. She has all the time in the world. Every single time I go live to stream snipe me so she can afford to take her kids somewhere. A lot of free time. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> you know who else had a lot of free time, right? Shmi. Shmi had a lot of free time because she would dump Chantal off at her clinically depressed grandmother's house while she chased after the alcoholic father who wanted nothing to do with either one of them. That's someone with a lot of free time. Projection? Go talk to your mother, Chantal. You have such issues with mothers. You really need to talk to yours. Maybe go to therapy together. It would do you so much good. The bees are spray. No, the bees are spray. Well done. I still have some. But that was like a, just kind of like a limited time thing. I was like, make me a visa spray. But why would you stop selling it if it sold so well as you claimed? It was the top seller last Ramadan. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not. You you said it was making hella money. Nobody would stop selling something making hella money. That just makes no sense. But nothing you ever say does. Oh, wait, is it because the perfume business doesn't really exist? They're not even fake making, making the bottles anymore. I guess they couldn't get into any dollar stores for this Ramadan like they did last year. That's a shame. <laughs> Delulu, thank you for the super chat. She's mad because her husband's a cheater, doesn't love her, and won't fuck her. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. So she's also abusive and takes that out on me. 
girl, it's not my fault. You know what? Life's lesson to everybody. You never know when you'll be in a sex for list relationship. You never get so fat that you can't reach your own fucking bean. Reach your bean. You won't be so damn mad ever. Every day, Mary Ham. Thank you for the super chat. But if I was in Canada, I'd be able to get, get it to you guys. Shipping is too costly here. I love you. Don't trust anyone. It's hard to. Ooh, yum. Watermelon soda. Okay, this is chicken 65 chapati. So it's chapati bread, which is this. <clears throat> I guess I'm always eating. What, what about it? At least I don't hide behind a camera fat. I show myself. And it's like a homemade Indian bread. If that makes you feel better, sweetheart, I don't know what to tell you. Keep stuffing your face on camera and thinking you're winning at something. God damn it, man. You're out of breath opening that container to show us the fucking chapati. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Thank you for the super chat. I guess my comment on Friday night about the shell companies for civil ID scams hit too close to home. Girl, 100% true. She was 100% listening on Friday. This is like a rage put on pause since Friday. She absolutely heard your comment. She might have done the little bit of research that I did after that stream that night because I'm like, holy shit, you know what? It makes so much sense. And you know what? When you go and Google about it, it makes even more sense. And she's like punching the air like, no, why don't they believe me? Why can't I lie and get away with it in this fucking community? She hates you, girl. I love you. <laughs> Anyone with a brain is like a threat to her courtness. You know what I mean? Gypsy Rock, thank you for the super chat. No job scat nugget feels like such a big boy when she lets him drive the Timu truck. Ooh. <laughs> Very popular here. And it has chicken 65, which I don't know what that even means. It's like a sauce for chicken and french fries and like spicy mayo. It's so good. I didn't check anybody out, Connie. No. <laughs> I wasn't checking anybody out. <laughs> I can honestly say with my whole chest, this whole circumference, I have not seen a more handsome person in Kuwait than Salah. So I do like that she added in Kuwait because she got stupid. She didn't even have words when she saw my brother. She went, hey, 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 hey. She went all mush mouth stupid. <laughs> so I'm glad you added in Kuwait, you stupid. You're so nasty, Chantal. Supposed to be a married woman. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm not just saying that. I mean it. So why, when I have eye candy like that? When I have, because you don't have. You don't have. Nice of you to call it eye candy, uh, eye candy, because that's all you get to do is look at them, right? You don't have, when I have eye can uh, candy like that, when I look so rough. Girl, girl, come on. Is that it? You're looking at that guy who won't touch you, who literally wants to screw anything behind your back. And and fat shames you. You know, she talks always so much shit about we talk about her that she's fat and blah blah. How come she never addresses the fact that salad made a joke about her being fat to cut Bella? Never anything to say about that, right? It's cute. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. You're absolutely right. Good eye. Look how flat the pillows are in the back on the left there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I bet she's sleeping on that couch. I don't think a normal human being would compress those pillows that hard in a couple of days. Dad, that's like, 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 like a press. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's sleeping on the couch. Would I bother looking at anyone else? Maybe I was staring at something else. I don't know. <laughs> Retired chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen. Uh Make with this what you will, okay? I don't know how to diplomatically say this, but mm, mm, I'll, I'll apologize in advance. I'm sorry if this is not di diplomatically correct, okay? There are so many, like, devastatingly good-looking Arabs, men, women. It's sort of a thing. The fact that she thinks salad is, like, the best-looking thing she's ever seen in the Middle East just tells you how little she leaves the house. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Beezer spray is horrible. Only thing it was good for was uh, it made the ants leave my plants alone. That's so gross. 
A chicken 65. Oh my gosh. Natalia, I miss Quitineries. Ooh, curry, Jack. Yum. Where are the mods? It's okay. I can handle people. We're in there. No. I'm sorry. I don't agree with you. Oh, I love these things. These? I made a song called Handsomest Man. I don't front, okay? Babe. Hi, babe. I don't front. Yes, you made a song called Handsomest Man, but you also referred to yourself as better looking than 90% of YouTube. So you're delusional. It's not that you're spitting facts, okay? Hi, Roach. I mean it. Hi, Patrick. Some Busek. We saw the Snickers. <laughs> No one's perfect. <laughs> Syrian food. Falafel. I know other countries have falafel too. Oh, yeah. Okay, listen. I I'm not talking about a person. I know a di he's a dipshit. Okay, dipshit things have come out. Have y'all seen Britney Spears' ex-husband? Oh, I'm watering at the mouth just saying Britney Spears' ex-husband. God damn. You want to talk about handsomest man. You want to talk about take your breath away man beauty. Oh, that motherfucker. I, again, I know he's a piece of shit. I didn't know that when I was lusting over him all those years, though. Uh, rabbit, rabbit sugar. Thank you for the super chat. There's nothing handsome about ingrown ass hair. Well said. Food from, where is it, babe? Syria and Lebanon. The Levant countries all have similar, um, dishes, but I did my Kubo ones. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm a little behind on the chat and I'm trying not to be tonight, okay? Everyday Miriam, thank you for the super chat. Guys, like salad contributed to me being a lesbian. <laughs> I don't doubt that for a minute. There's, there's, listen, all it takes is one. You know what I mean? One can put you off of all. Um... Huh. I don't know if I should pop this up. I'm ha I'm having a, a crisis of conscience here. I don't know if I should put this up on the screen. Whoa, what happened to the chat? Okay, here it is. Um, Suzanne the Swedish Yarny Hooker. Kalari. <laughs> Chantal's talking shit about you on her community tab, and I don't I don't know why she would do that. Uh, I don't want to put it up on the screen, but I mean, everyone's going to see it. Ma'am, I don't know who you are, but you are really going to sit there like you do fat as hell with no front teeth judging me on what I eat, saying my man won't touch me. I can guarantee a man is going to touch me first, given the options. Check yourself. Thanks. Bye. The nerve of these brain dead wannabe morons. How the fuck is she going to call you fat as hell? She's got the reverse body dysmorphia. She's crazy and thinks she's a skinny. Pull it up. Okay, wait, what did Kalari say? I don't want Kalari. Oh. Kalari, you know she's just a massive piece of shit. Don't let her anything she says fucking get to you. Holy shit, girl. Email me if you need to, okay? I'm going to pop it up on the screen. She's such a C word. You know what the C word is. <clears throat> Here's uh, Miri Ham. Stupid bitch. You're coming for random, like, community members now. Talking about the looks of random people in the community when you've had people like Pissy Poo, like S Jam, like Karate Joe. I, I, I would not be going around talking about the looks of people in the community go in the mirror look at what you've got going on and then decide if you want to take that jab heifer Nee marie thank you for the super chat you break from tubes you got coming back with the fire listen it's not every day you come back to a rage stream i like it Blech. Again, fuck her, Kalari. She's a fucking bitch. Uh, you probably struck a nerve, so take that as a positive. She can uh, eat my ass for eight hours. 
Yes, we do. I agree. Hi, Gemini. Hi, Fernanda. Someone said Chicken 65 is retired chicken. I get to eat internationally. Mm. Yes, Kalari is funny as fuck. And that's probably why Chantal is so goddamn bothered, right? Mm -hmm. Can't stand it. Stay mad. Stay mad. It wouldn't change a fucking thing. But it truly shows what just how angry and unhappy you are that now you're not even coming for reactors. You're legitimately coming for the viewers now. You're psychotic, Chantal. That's got to be against TOS somehow. Come for other people who have channels. Like, not just other people have channels, but like, I know Kalari has a channel, but I, I, you, you know what I mean? I don't even know how to explain this right. Don't come for people who are in the orbit that far out of the orbit. You know what I mean? Come for me, come for me. Yeah, but come for garlic bread. The people you always do. That's not fair. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. You, you're a heifer. You're a fucking heifer and you call, you talk such shit about people and you talk so disgusting about people, but then you get mad when people take the obvious blows. Chantal, look how smooth your skin looks right now. You are presently hiding behind 16 filters and this is the best they can do. You have no place to be shooting your fat, ugly mouth off. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. That's right. Kalari is a goddess. Fuck you, Chantal. 100%. Kimbalina, thank you for the super chat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> go back to Madden, okay? I don't know why this guy insists on ins inserting himself in bitch drama. That right there, the fact that yo mama is covering, covering Kalari on a live stream, you are Patricia Thomas. You are the new Patricia Thomas around here. I don't know what the fuck you're even doing in this community. You fucking freak. For real, for real? That guy is a fucking freak. Talk about having nothing to talk about. So now you're going to start attacking viewers. Okay. You know who's a viewer on your channel, right, yo mama? That Amber chick. You know what that Amber chick did, right? Since we're going to attack viewers now. That Amber chick is the Amber chick who robbed the fucking Wendy's for meth money. And then went and robbed her uh, parents' best friend's house for meth money. That... Amber check. Yeah, that's right. That's a member on your channel. Who'd she rob to pay the membership? You fucking loser. This one is not crispy anymore because it's delivered. But again, since you wanted to talk Justin's about the viewers, fresh, yeah. Sydney, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> I'm fucking heated. I just want to say it again. Kalari, I'm so sorry. That they're talking about you. I had no idea that piece of shit was talking about you, dude. Fuck her. Fuck him. Don't listen to a goddamn word. Look at who's talking. Luna, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. I've been here talking shit about her for years and she want to pull it. She's such a dick. Such a fucking dick. She, she just wants to have problems. And again, this is Ramadan. Instead of talking less shit, look at the extra shit she chooses to talk. Ramadan cosplayer. P, wait, P, P, I'm melting. Thank you for the super chat. I do Kalari before I sniff foodie, sniff foodie beauty's cheese. Same. Absolutely same. With that weird guy, Justin, thank you for the super chat. She can come for me. Let's play. She would never. She would never. It's like. She'll just block you forever. Listen, <laughs> she can't handle it from some people. And oh, bitch, I would love to. I would love to listen to you. Not not, not with text. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear you, weird guy, Justin. Fucking rip her a new one. Oh, it would be great. Oh, <laughs> I love your voice. I can picture your voice. You know what I mean? Sometimes you, you write something and I picture it in your voice. Oh, my God. I wish she would come for you. Ooh. T overflow. Thank you for the super chat. Kalari is hilarious. Everyone should go sub. Yes. Everyone go and sub to Kalari out of spite. <laughs> Chantal, you did this. I actually can see that. Squeaky Adonis is awesome. Did you see their olive bar? That in Farm Boy. Thank you, Shelly. Tastes like old Christmas. Like when you open a box of like old Christmas decorations. I know what you mean. Yeah, babe. Hi, Rhonda. Oh, can you be my nurse? Each country has its own way to make falafel or other stuff. Yeah. Hi, Gemini Gem. Loyalty 24 months. Oh my God. Ready, set. You're getting the bat wing. Please. 
these are so good. I know someone's counting. Where's Henry Reed? Remember the person who used to count the lockers I would eat? Who's counting how many sambusek I eat? One more chicken, 65. Anyway. Okay, hold on. Wait. Chantal, stop. <laughs> when I tell her to stop, <laughs> instead of pressing pause, that's how I honk the horn in my car, by the way. I yell before I honk the horn. Uh, I, I just want to put Kalari's, the link to Kalari's channel in the chat. Hold on. Give me a minute. Move. Move. Okay. That is the link to Kalari's channel. Let me click my own link and make sure it works. Because last time you're like, Frenchie, that link doesn't even work. Okay, it works fantastic. So that link that I'm going to pin right now is the link to Kalari's channel. Highly recommend you go over, give her a sub since, you know, it bothers Chantal so much. Let's fucking give her something to be mad at. I love that for her. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. Chantal, your own husband won't do you first. Ah, it's a shame. It's a shame. I say with a big smile on my face. Um. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay, Lisa. <laughs> nice. I'll make you warm up. Nice. Nice squeaky from. <laughs> Blue pot. Yeah. Probably. And isn't that amazing? Sol uh, Solari. <laughs> Celery, what? Kalari just jumped from 7,000 something subs to over 1,000. Well done, girl gang. Thank you for the support, Kalari. <laughs> Fucking give it to her, girl. <laughs> I love that. Holter Gisha, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Miriam, I'm 120 pounds soaking wet, but I know my way around a pipe wrench. Let's go. <laughs> True, Natalia. Latte Americano. I like cappuccinos. I think an order. Cappuccino, latte, and, pee, and then Americano. Pee. My pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Americano feels too raw. Like no one's holding your hand in the process of drinking it. Nice, Paul. Good luck. Mashallah. <laughs> Lisa, this one doesn't seem to be deep fried, but it probably has the same sauce they use. Listen, Kalari, you know that this group does not fuck around. There are benefits to being in the cult. Eh. Suck it, Chantal. <laughs> I know, Squeaky. I know what you mean. You like the mob vlog? That was a fun day yesterday. <laughs> like, um, I walked a lot. But yesterday... I know. She always goes for the things in other people that bother her about herself the most. The woman that only has front teeth is talking about somebody else's teeth. She talks about my teeth. She talks about Cody's teeth. She talks about everybody's teeth. I got all the teeth in my mouth that I'm supposed to have. <laughs> Jealous. I always say, y'all, the other night when we were playing the game and I couldn't open my stupid drink and you guys are like, use your teeth. And I was like, shocked by that? Are you nuts? I'm a fatty. My teeth are precious to me. I would never. And then and, 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 and. as a fatty, I, I, you know what I mean? I treat them well. Those are precious. Why? How could you be a, a death fatty and only have half the teeth you're supposed to have? My God, 20 grand you made a month. I would have fixed those fucking teeth so fast. No priorities. P, P. Thank you again for the super chat. Cry Kalari, lesbianist. We love you, girl. <laughs> Absolutely. fucking Luli. My leg wasn't hurting too bad, but I still walked slow. It's weird. I find my leg doesn't have the same strength as it used to since this incident. Your life at the Villa Pre online dating was fun and harmless. I agree, Blue Pot. I agree. It was fun. No, wait, was that the Lockman era? No. Hi, Joanne. I'm feeling okay, actually. Hi, Tracy. How are you? If you could get a dog, which breed? Uh, Capricorn NJ, that's awesome. Kalari just passed 1.2K, yay. A retriever or a Borzoi. A Borzoi. Something with a long beef, I can grab and kiss it. 
It was not so yesterday, according to Internet Detectives. There's like literally, like, how can they prove anything? Like, what? It was literally yesterday. Hmm. No, it wasn't. Unless two fans happened to come up to you in Kuwait? I don't fucking think so, liar. That video was old. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. 100% true. I can look for the receipt from the grocery place. Yeah. Probably already threw it in the garbage. Uh, of course. You did. Garbage just to show There's you never that. a receipt. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been on one. A cruise, no. Your filter change the Chinese box from a square to a rectangle. <laughs> I can't. If aliens exist in this world, come adopt, come adopt me. Come take me away from this planet. I don't want to live on the same planet with morons like this. Thank Girl, shut the fuck up. If aliens exist, they're watching you and they're as disgusted as us humans. God damn. Why would they want something that smells like blue cheese to abduct? What, are they going to beam you up to the ship? You're 450 pounds. I don't think they have a jigger to get your fat ass up there. Joe Davis, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> no probing and we're good. Oh, well, yeah. But surprise, surprise, Ricky, Julie, thank you for the super chat. Vlog from the ship. I do want to go on one someday. <laughs> yes, babe. If they had a life, they wouldn't be obsessed with others online. Yes. This is true. Oh, that scat man chiming in. If they had a life, that they wouldn't be obsessed with people online and stuff. If you had, you know, a talent or a skill, you would be able to immigrate somewhere on your own. <laughs> but you don't floppy tits if you weren't an incel freak motherfucker maybe you could get back on the internet and riz somebody else up and taunt your chance with someone useful and not this useless barren bald dipshit you two really deserve each other in life <laughs> muzzle tov to the happy couple l'chaim to you both <clears throat> i mean think about it this way when you watch a movie this is entertainment okay but when you watch a movie, you watch a TV series, do you then log off and then obsess about every little detail about that thing that you watched? Oh yeah, the stickers? Actually, everything is still in the bags. Sure. The stickers, sure. There's still some left. <laughs> There's a few gone, a couple gone. A few gone. Mm -hmm. Very good, these, thank you for super These chat. guys, okay, this is a treat. Syrian dried up cut. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you like fruit leather, oh, you will love these. You've just been eating for 26 minutes. Stop it. Stop it. Why don't you take the last bite of food and then you need the first bite of whatever, if you want to call that dessert or whatever. Give us a break for fuck's sake. Lori's new life. Thank you for the super chat. How he is on vacation. Hi, Cream. I think it's funny how they think you're this diabolical mastermind and con con constantly trying to bamboozle us. Yeah, like I'm constantly trying. That's, that's what's annoying. Is like none of it makes sense. Why? What's the motivation to do this? You know, like. Motivation to what? I don't even know what she's talking about anymore. I, I zoned out for a minute. Vixen Bow, thank you for the super chat. Aliens dumped her also. You never know. Hmm. When I have a health journey, Shelly, I'll share. But right now, I don't know. As you can see, it's not that great. Thank you, Kim Richards. How the heck is that your business? Chantal ain't your close family or friend. And she's not paying your bills. What did they say? I'll go get Harry after and give him a French fry. Please don't give the rat think a French fry. No one in that house should be eating a French fry except for floppy tits. Pee, pee. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Hi, Tracy. 
Yeah, it's like a fruit roll-up, but thick, an apricot. Oh, Natalia, no. Vanessa, I need five gallons of water now. I'll be right back. Don't be along the way. You hear me? Hey, you know what I don't see anymore? Anyone. The Koran. It's not being uh, cosplayed on the coffee table anymore. Hmm, interesting. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. As a Plutonian, none of us want you. <laughs> As a human, none of us want her either. It's like a universally agreed on thing in the entire universe. I love that for all of us. Little Rebel Cat, thank you for the super chat. Chantal refuses to believe that any woman can have a healthy, non-transactional relationship because we're all bridge trolls and she's an LA 10. Absolutely. fucking lutely Yeah, yeah. I never really thought of it like that before, but the way you said it, yeah, that's a thinker right there. You're absolutely right. She doesn't believe that a non-transactional relationship exists because she's never been in one except for BB. And she ruined that one. Like It's like she went out of her way to wreck that relationship. She didn't know what she had when she had it, you know? She's never since or before that been in a non-transactional relationship. Interesting. That would be sad if it wasn't her, but she doesn't deserve shit but misery. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. Successful Ramadan gun to pot a mesquite eating. <laughs> oh, crap. Let me skip ahead till she's back. Okay, here she is. Heifer. Efficient, even though you don't know how much the law makes. You don't know. You know what I mean? His job is fine. Perfect. You don't know what Salah makes. That's true. We don't know exactly what him or you make, but we can, you know, take a, a very good guess based on the way you live. Hmm? The way you are always broke. The way you, uh, that apartment sucks. The way that that car isn't owned or leased. or It's like a promotional thing that he's being paid to drive. I, I still don't understand the thing on that car. Listen, neither one of you has any fucking money. You're right. We don't know what he makes. It's not a lot. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. She's all swallow, no chew. <laughs> and all uh, gasp. <laughs> Obviously. And if it wasn't, he could do something else because he had jobs. Like, he supported himself with his business before he met me. You know? It's no one's business. That's right. And we saw exactly how he was living when they met. Now, yeah, that is somebody supporting themselves. So I got nothing to say. He had a roof over his head. And honest to God, I don't judge normally, pe normally people like that. In her case, I always made the exception since she had so much to say about my imaginary Motel 6 and how everyone in the community lives, talking about people's trailers and shacks and shit like that. Um, so, yes, he was taking care of himself before he met you. You all remember that first apartment, right? The whole apartment was like half the size of my living room and I live in a small place. Um, if that's, that's like surviving. Yes, he was taking care of himself. He wasn't thriving on his own. That fucker was surviving in, in a pretty shit situation and was in a real rush to get the fuck out of there as soon as he could. When you came into the picture with your $9,000. Elephant Flowers, thank you for the super chat. You made it Kalari on her hit list. Well done. Congratulations. It's a, it's, this is, you know, I want to say a big day for you, Kalari, but uh, when this heifer starts hating you, you know you're doing something right. Dell, thank you for the super chat. Just got out of a rave catching up on the bus. Holy crap. You're so wild. I love you, girl. I hope you had a great time. No business. No business. I want to work at Wendy's. You get free food, right? <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Cheez-Its are good. Hi, Lynn. Yeah, even if you work at Dollar Tree, it's still income. Nothing wrong with that. You know? Imagine someone said that I don't have a job while I'm a business owner. I can buy their basement rent all at once. <laughs> their basement rent. The apartment situation she would bankrupt them in a day now because you actually wants to work at wendy's god you know that andrea oh, andrea what the fuck's her name amber chick you know how fucked you are chantal said she wanted to go and work at a wendy's you didn't even pretend to want to work at the wendy's you went straight there to rob it 
Damn, you got worse instincts than Chantal, you fucking meth head. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Big hugs. Thanks, y'all. For real, I was just going to slowly grow. But apparently the heifer Chantal wants to be dragged. Yes, bitch. <laughs> I love when, like, it's like an, an, a new nemesis is spawned. You know what I mean? Whoa, here we go. Chantal, you do this to yourself. Ah, oh, Kalari, welcome to the hated crew. <laughs> You mean the change of furniture? Well. Oh, let's just add that on top, Chantal. Listen up. Ring your B ears out, Kalari. Thank you again for the super chat. Also, I'm an author. An author. Not a pretend English major. An actual author. Mm. And my man loves me. Bloop. Well done, Kalari. The apartments? Yeah, well. I was getting, like, I liked your old places, okay? But I was kind of like, a few things were happening in my brain. I was thinking, I think the no windows were getting to me a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't, like, we always have our curtains. I don't know. Like, just having them, I think, is, like, helping. I never open my curtains, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, but. Oh, now the no windows is getting to her. You remember back then when she's like, I don't even need windows. Uh, we laughed so hard at how stupid she was over windows. You can't even just admit. She's such a, <laughs> like a baby. Like a fucking, a baby. She just wants to fight you on everything. We don't even need the windows. Edited community post. Oh no, she's ready for hell. Oh no, hold on. Hitting the refresh. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> let's just uh, take a little look at her community tab, this fucking bitch. Miri Ham, you can community tab all day. It's still not going to make the fake scat man love you, okay? No, an actual, like, he really likes scat, but he's your fake husband. You know what I mean? Hey, 12 chins of thunder. Oh, I like that. 12 chins of thunder. From now on, nobody call me Frenchie. I am 12 chins of thunder. It's my rap name. <laughs> uh, you know what's embarrassing? Making a post making fun of Nal's looks when you are still 10 times more homely, the nerve. Hey, blabba and scam. Imagine just getting happily married and going right back to talking about me shopping at the mall while holding your fat asses behind childish avatars, human trash. This is how you are stuck supporting your poor children. I say poor children because they have bully trash for parents. Their stepmom is also, uh, also called them unfortunate looking and you married that what a pile of trash girl world is well you know your deadbeat alcoholic father wanted nothing to do with you when you were born and your mother was still dumb enough to dump you at your grandmother's and chase after him it's okay if shmi does it no one else is allowed to fuck up and then we're not allowed to talk about shmi and why you're actually so mad at mothers because your mother didn't want to raise you and because your your father doesn't want to know you well, okay, stay mad. Oh, you can call me 12 chins of thunder all you want, death fat. I still got two legs, and neither one of them turned blue and get all puffy. Hmm? Just saying. Um, stay mad. Stay with your hijab. Stay with your cosplay. Keep stuffing it into your chin spanks and convincing you yourself that you're a skinny. You're a death fatty. TikTok on that leg, bitch. Not so funny, bunny. Thank you for the super chat. Left her a little inspirational quote. Certainly your shaming and humiliating your brother with his sins is a greater sin than his disobedience. Well said. <laughs> and pew pew. I just kind of wanted somewhere bigger a little bit. A bigger kitchen. Chantal, by the way, you can, you can put up my chins on your community tab until the end of time. It's never going to change the fact that your man wants to take shit on everybody else except for you. And he wants to grape women. <laughs> your, your incel fake man, that is. Your Patricia Thomas ass. <laughs> I'm just going to press play. <clears throat> um, 
I was thinking like, I really want a cat and they have to have windows. So a few things were going on. So we moved like, of course we're gonna move from his bathroom. Yeah, by the way, when you have a partner who wants to take shits randomly all over you and come all over the couch and stuff, it's nice to have a window that you can crack open for the stank. Nima Marie, wife in number three, thank you for the super chat. Oh, Pat, like he was living there alone. It was cozy though, but then we moved to the other one. Now this one has two bedrooms. Oh, nice view of the sea. Yeah, I agree, babe. Mind your business, touch pass. Bye. Who we pickles We need to see outside. <laughs> yeah, that was why yesterday was a nice time because I did go outside. <laughs> I so agree with this. Blackwater Pete, thank you for the super chat. Thank God Chantal can't have children. It's not for nothing. In life, I do believe a lot of things, eh, there's a reason a lot of things happen in life. The fact that Chantal cannot be a mother, could not trap anybody with a baby, and then <sighs> that demon child lives on this planet amongst us, it's a blessing to the planet that she can't have a fucking kid. I don't care who thinks that mean, uh, who thinks that's mean. Go fuck yourselves. This thing should not be raising animals, let alone children. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. What a failure she truly is. Ramadan success. Yeah, in her mind, she'll tell you the story after. Of course I participated in Ramadan. Of course I fasted in Ramadan. No, you ruined every single day with your stupid thoughts and your fat mouth. Well done, cosplay. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. Chantal, stop letting the antis gas you up. Oh, comment of the evening right there. Well, fucking done. And that's all they really are. Gang of antis. Actually, anti implies. No, you know what? We're not getting that meme today. We'll save it for another day. <laughs> Emotional support, Muffin. Thank you for the super chat. Just a little something for you to spend at Wendy's. I hear it's a pretty popular place. It's almost criminal. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's not that busy during the week. Things are more busy on weekends and we avoid that. But before Iftar, you know, it's not as busy. He had his own house, like in his own place. I didn't mean like a mansion or a big house. Liar, you told us before you even went to Kuwait that you had seen the place on like however y'all were talking. I forget WhatsApp or whatever. And that it was like really cute and really nice. You did tell us. You lied to us all. And we all had the picture in our mind of like Kuwait and the money. And so, and you played it off like he had a nice place. And then we saw that little toilet bowl that he was living in. You're a fucking liar, Chantal. Janet Pirate, thank you so much, girl. I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Prepare a gift for it. Yeah. Like, you know what? I was watching very popular, like millions of subscribers, a Muslim couple on TikTok. They're like, have iftar with us. They got in the car and went to take get drive through. Nobody's cooking a huge iftar meal every day. Like, no way. Sorry. But what did they do before they went and drove to get their iftar meal? Were they at work? Is that what was going on, Chantal? Because realistically, people who are home all day would cook the iftar meal at home every day because they're home. They have no kids. They have no responsibilities. There's fuck all to do all day long. But most people didn't, you know, roll out of bed in the afternoon either. So what happened before they went for Iftar? You're insane. Keep justifying everything you're doing to yourself. There's nobody, Chantal, who stays home all day and then does like take out for Iftar. No. But Iftar just means breaking your fast. It could be anything. <laughs> Could be worms if you wanted to. Oh, no, I don't think worms are hello. <laughs> Whitlow, thank you for the super chat. We were going to do Lushy today, and then she came out with this rage stream. Tonight was going to be her and Chantal, you know? But the Lush, uh, the, the Lush, the live stream, rage stream takes precedent always. So tomorrow will be Lushy and her bangs and her bullshit. Blue Pot, like, why would I do that, though? Like, I, I didn't say that. I have my own debts. I have my own bills. I need to make money, too. But to say that I like somebody who doesn't earn any money is just not right. And they can't keep the same consistency with their stories and lies. First is I'm so broke, I can't afford to go anywhere, I can't afford to do anything. But yeah, my husband's with me for money, which I don't have, apparently. Um 
he's not really with her for money. He got with her for papers. And I think now he's accepted the fact that that's not really happening. So he's moved on to, well, at least with her, I kind of, I'm in a better position in life. I think that's really what it comes down to. There's not money. Like they're getting food bank food and shit. But again, look, we've been talking about the apartment, this whole live stream. Picture where he was when we first met Salad and look at where they live now. Not that this is a great place, but compared to where he was, he's moved up quite a bit. Okay. He's comfortable with his windows and his breathing room. He can like stretch his arms out now and they're not hitting both sides of the wall. You know what I mean? So he's got that. He's driving around that, you know, death trap of a hoopty, but a brand new car now. Um, God only knows what other little benefits there are in society to a man who's got like a wife versus a Syrian in Kuwait who's got nothing. There's got to be benefits. Everyday Miri Hem, thank you for the super chat. Her child would come out in the shape of a samosa. Oh, God. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. There are others of us who will defend Arby. I know, you, you got a whole little gang. Every time Arby's is mentioned, some people are willing to fight me for you. Lord Baroque, you got mad support in this group. <laughs> you're, you're all crazy. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. Heavy like a milk-fed veal calf. Perfect. Although veal implies young. <laughs> oh, elephant flowers. Thank you for the super chat. FFG doesn't need to smear 70s blue muck on eyes. That's right. FFG wouldn't. FFG wouldn't smear any muck. FFG doesn't smear nothing anymore. <laughs> but FFG would have never smeared blue. It doesn't work with FFG's complexion and shit. Anyway, why am I talking to the third person? FFG is too big. Uh, you know, like, ah. It depends, Gemini Gem. You can find FFG's a fat ass would rather smear a little uh, cream cheese on a bagel. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the eyeshadow shit. Soulless, thank you again for the super chat. Salad went from iceberg to uh, iceberg lettuce to romaine. Woo, woo. It's like, I'm not going back, bitch. Not harsh, you know? <laughs> it's, all, it's cheaper for sure. Like this place for a two bedroom. And it's like, number one, you never pay any of your utilities. It's just rent and that's it. And some money that you give to the superintendent every month because they also clean your car. Um, Jessica, that's very nice, but um, <laughs> short of Muta. I, if I, <laughs> I only wear makeup to go to bed. I wouldn't leave the house with it on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shut up! Because your car will get a lot of sand dust over time. Yeah, if he didn't love me, like, why would he be with me? Like, look at all the problems I have. <laughs> yeah. He's young, like, I can't have kids. I have all these diseases. Well, not like, you know what I mean? I have a lot of illnesses, a lot of problems. I'm not making what I, a fraction of what I used to. Oh God. Someone needs to clip that for her. Chantal, you need to keep listening to that back until it clicks in your fucking brain. What you just said should click something in your fucking brain. Like, Hey, wait a minute. Why the fuck is this guy with me? She's so dumb. She just like said it, but she's saying it outwardly instead of inwardly. Oh my God. <laughs> He's so young. I'm so fat. I got all these diseases. I can't have children. Ding, 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 ding. Anybody else? That's the moment that if, if anybody didn't see it up until there, what she just said should like, oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nope, not for her. Cougarelli, thank you for the super chat. You're right. Heifer does imply young too. Oh, damn. You're right. We're not going to Canada. I don't think I'll get a maid after all. No, I'm keeping up with it for now. <laughs> Sometimes, like, I have days where I'm not feeling well, you know. These haters, I can't. <laughs> really selling yourself. <laughs> well, I make him laugh. We have fun together. I'm very loving. Keep stuff in your face and thinking you're loving uh, diseases like gonorrhea. Yeah, think about it. She's got diseases, uh, illnesses, mental and physical. Um, 
I don't, what's HPV? What does that fall under? Infection? I don't know. You classify that one, Smarties. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the throat gano, the vag gano, the finger HPV, a virus. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's just what we know about. Um, it's not, it's not good. Her cheek's way too big. Now, yeah, I know. Listen, this comes up all the time, and I stand by what I say. I think this is just that the filters don't know how to make it look human anymore. The filters are so confused by the hijab and the chin spanks, they don't know what to do with all that cheap to make it look human. Perry Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Remember that time New York bagels? No, what are you talking about? Propaganda. <laughs> no, you're lying yourself, girl. Um, what else? I'm beautiful. Right there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? I can sing like anyone, no one else. <laughs> Snoozy, I'm eating sambusa, fries, chicken 65, falafel, government funded falafel, fruit leather. I'm not sitting down full. Why do you think that, Mary? I'm open to the idea, but I'd like an explanation, please. HPV is not what she has on her finger, different type of virus. What is it? It looks like HPV on her finger. And HPV, like, I'm I'm the same age as Chantal. I think she's like one grade above me in school, let's say. Our age group did not get HPV vaccines at school. We're too old for that. I think like the next grade, they started giving them to the, the people at school. We didn't get that. And a lot of people, like if you didn't go back and get it later on, which something tells me this heifer didn't fucking care to do it. Shmi didn't exactly tell her to go and do it. They're all fucking morons. I, I don't know. It definitely could be. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Does not speak for all Pixies. Fair. Fair. Okay. Uh, Andra, thank you for the super chat, girl. Is it true Mr. Snowflake is releasing part two on Chantal's birthday? Thanks for reminding me. I totally forgot. Yes. This is what I'm hearing, too. Part two of the documentary. You know the documentary that rocked her fucking world and she raged about it for days? Yeah, that part two. Part two is coming out on her birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, it's gonna be so great. We get a birthday rage, but it's not for our birthday, it's for her birthday. Yay! Rabbit Rabbit Sugar, thank you again for the super chat. She now has a tiny double chin growing between her chin and left cheek. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Yeah, happy birthday, cutie. Hope you like your present, don't you know? Boom. <laughs> Um, isn't it tradition to gift and receive gifts of clothing during Ramadan? I don't know. I know that right before Ramadan, people tend to go and get new clothes. And then at the end of Ramadan, if I'm remembering correctly, for Eid, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's also tradition to go and get a new outfit, get a haircut. You spiff yourself up, you know? Uh, Deidre, thank you for the super chat. Oh, come on, FFG, she's real. Blech. <laughs> Blech. She's easy to catch. <laughs> she can't get away. <laughs> Done. The love documentary coming up. Thanks, Michelle. It's whole circumference. <laughs> Thanks, Lavelle. Can you sing Seasons Change? And the season change my world won't change your all. I can't do my Monty impression and my um, skinny queen impression are the exact same. I can't differentiate the two. That's ironic because my Chantal um, impersonation and my Kool-Aid man impersonation are also so fucking close you can't even tell who I'm doing. Lord of the Fruit Flies, thank you for the super chat. Chantal's new name, Lavashki. <laughs> Fill in the blank. <laughs> What's a way of saying dead, dead, like die in French that rhymes with ri? La vache qui frit. <laughs> La vache qui va mourir uh, prochainement. Ce sera pas long. Tabarnak, il va perdre son pied. Boop. <laughs> I contribute the <laughs> stressing. Yeah, that's true. I always go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snoozy. Did you see someone literally counted the frames in your videos? What? <laughs> Stop. 
alien invasion inshallah soon what do you mean counted frames what that's funny. Okay, okay, that works. La vache qui est en fin de vie. <laughs> it works! Oh. Hey, whoa, whoa, your name, whoa, this is not by accident. Holy shit. Toujours la petite goule jouée au battleship. Great fucking name. Great fucking line. Merci beaucoup. What does that even mean? Can you speak in, uh, you know, terms of people who don't, uh, like, non-obsessive terms, please? For Garfunkel. I could, but no. Hi, <laughs> Nasratu. <Nefaratu. laughs> Rhonda. Someone said she sounds like a long fart, and I can't. I can't. That is so true. Friends from Chinda stomach. Who thought? Or Brenda, whoever said that. However, you want to spend your precious time on this planet, go for it. I'm fine. I don't hide it. There you go. Well, I mean, I have to find it, <laughs> sort of. But before I was Muslim, did I ever hide my body? No. Yeah, you have to cover your body, but the chin spanks are just totally unnecessary. <laughs> Has nothing to do with being Muslim and everything to do with you being Delulu. Do these morons hide their bodies? Yes. Do they look worse than me and Amberlynn? Yes. Egg on legs, egg on legs, situation type deal. Oh, yeah, but. You know, this egg on legs thing is ridiculous. Although it is funny. If I'm an egg on legs, she's like a pork roast on toothpicks. Okay? I'd rather be the egg. At least the egg can still stick and move. Bitch. Vanessa. She was cool. Thank you, Marvelous Bailey. Ghostface. Hi, Ghostface. Okay, I need to record a Madonna song after this. Which one? <laughs> Vanessa. That's jamming despise. Oh yeah, remember when he said he was coming? He was in Ottawa and I freaked out. Well, what I was going through, I was paranoid. At the end of the day, the haters' opinions and praise of fans don't matter. You have to start taking care of yourself as soon as possible. Yes, I agree. <laughs> You're impressed. I already did let Isla Bonita. It's up there. Now, Isla Bonita. Bonita. Hair, but I just want to start, but whatever. Take a bow, the night is over. This masquerade is getting older. Lights are. Yes, Chantal, this masquerade is getting tiring. Take the hijab off. You're a fucking idiot. Shh, shh. If you're going to cosplay, you should know that this shit is haham. We should not have to sit watching hijab sing Madonna. No. La 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 la. Okay? I don't fucking accept. One bullshit game at a time, Chantal. You want to cosplay? Shut the fuck up with the Madonna. Hello. No, I want to sing um something. It's like the, when she was doing the Immaculate Collection, her voice was really nasally. And then whenever she got to like, you know, bedtime stories and albums like that, it was more. <laughs> I'm hung up. No, I don't like that song. Uh, Is there any late rage left in this okay. one? or? Uh... I just saw people complaining about it. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch the movie, thank you. Because I don't like Zendaya and I don't like Timothy Chalamet. So they would annoy me the whole movie. I mean, I don't like not like them as people. I just mean like they get on my nerves, okay? And a lot of things get on my nerves. We should make a movie. <laughs> no, I can't act. Well, yeah, actually, I'm the best actor in the world. <clears throat> yeah. interesting that she should say that <laughs> you're the worst actress in the world that's why we always can tell when you're lying but it's very funny what you just said that you think you're the best actress in the world that's why you keep lying for how long though when you get ca called out on every single attempt at a lie I am the best actress in the world yeesh yeah boobies Babe, loyalty bees are club. Oh, uh, why would Zendaya get on her nerves? Wait a minute. I got a couple ideas. One, skinny. Two, beautiful. Mm, yeah, I think that's all it takes. 
seven months. Tell me the sick action channels. They don't have a single life obsessing with other lives going by frame without telling me they don't. Right? Yes, that's what I said. Ah, there you go. Salad called Zendaya hot. So woman hater, you know. She's not even that pretty. I can imagine her. She's so full of shit. Ms. Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. We're all so jealous that we don't have to hoist our stomachs on tables and can sit with closed legs. <laughs> Stop flexing on her. <laughs> she thinks that's just normal life. To have to hoist your double gunt onto a fucking table because you don't fit at it. That's a normal life. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even know you were still a member. That's so cute. Yeah. All right. So it is true. Yeah. Uh, like that's a new low of going frame by frame for what? To reveal that I'm fat? Like I'm on camera. People have eyes. They don't need your um, inspector gadget analysis. It was funny oh, there. though. Snacky treats and penis for the OG wrecking Howard. Love for Howie. Maybe a new princess peach bride. Thank you, Kina Bear. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Actually, I'm going to go get Howie just for you and give him some something left over. I'm going to give him a chapati. How? He likes a lot, of, like not just rage, but like point out like hypocrisies and like stuff like. What you say? Hey, hey, no, no, come on, rage! I thought we did something lady. good. Yeah. This is bullshit. I would, but I wouldn't get veneers or something like this. Veneer? What? You need implants, bitch. She got no teeth. I think it changes. Like I'm afraid of them shaving down my teeth. That freaks me out. Kina, it is 29.17. Fruit flies like sweet stuff, yeah. Not smelly stuff. I are busy. Is it common for women to work in Kuwait? Yeah. My birthday soon. <laughs> okay, you know that guy, the pussy turned red guy? He went and got cheap veneers in Turkey. She could probably afford to do them in Turkey. I'm just saying. They're not great. But their teeth. Beige Sam's like, <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? Mind your business? I forget the conversation. You find Kuwait housewives judgmental because they're so no. I never talked to a Kuwait housewife though. Maybe once. She was very nice. Hi, Simply Ravishing. Skip it. <laughs> Kina Bear. <laughs> No, I'm okay, bro. Okay. Unlucky yard. Thank you for the super chat rule. Yeah, you know. I have a hamster, son. I have a son of a hamster. And I have a cat. Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. Julia's fishy fish. Oh my gosh. So every evening when we watch a movie, or almost every evening, she lays beside me or Salah. And we both complain every time because she gets close to us and then she'll she'll look up at us and yawn right necklace. Come. Come. She, uh, that makes me feel like she's part uh, I'm not here for cat content. Ketchup flavored chips. They're really good. They taste like a bit different, but almost similar to a Ford Bills. And food is rich in a lot of ways. Okay, her head was bobbing really fast. Usually that's when she's angry. Let's see what the fuck. We'll see what the fuck this is. And then we can dip on this bullshit. Where do single people live? Um, there's some, I don't know. There must be some buildings that you can just rent, I guess, if you're single, babe, I don't know, really. But there's some buildings you have to be fam that are family only and they'll say family only. So there must be some buildings where you can rent for just single people. Bachelor, I think they call it. Yeah, there is because whatever, yes, because you lived as a bachelor before, babe, in an apartment. So there are some that are like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if they have Airbnbs. They have hotels. I never said he was rich and had a mansion. I never said that. Actually, having your own car in your own place and money to afford bills and food is rich in a lot of ways. If you think about it nowadays, it's so hard to live. Oh, shut up nowadays as if you felt any part of inflation. Now we're lowering the bar because it's salads bar. For everyone else, nothing is ever enough and she'll shit on you no matter what you're doing. And everything, everyone just lives in a shack or a trailer or a Motel 6. But now, if you can just afford to put a, a roof over your head and a car and food, you, you're doing pretty well. Uh, 
Yeah, now. Now, because we're talking about salad. Shut up, Chantal. Shut the F up. You didn't say he was in a mansion, but you did say he was living well. Okay. And when you talk about living well and you tell us you're going to Kuwait, I had a picture in my mind of living well, and it was not at all the way he's living. It's not the way you're living now. I wouldn't consider this living well in Kuwait. You're in one of the richest countries in the world. You guys live like clandestine. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where you come off now trying to, in a way, backtrack, but not even. Because she would still take shots at like where I live, where any other reactor lives, still do those stupid old comments from the past. But then also when it's her say, well, no, he's living pretty good. If you can afford the rent of your, the roof of your head and blah, blah, blah. Shut up. I live these days for a lot of people. Students in Los Angeles can live alone. Yeah, unless, you, unless you're in a specific building that says family only. You just have to have Wasta. <laughs> you know Wasta, right? <laughs> yeah. Wasta, Wasta. Yeah, there's only families and there's only single people for rent here for sure. Airbnbs. <laughs> yeah, we could become rich. <laughs> yeah, Brooke, I heard that. But only for non-Muslim people, like travelers, right? Really, Marie? Okay, there's nothing else going on in this one. Let's dip on this one because we still have the other video to watch, but it's very short. That was that was good. It was nice to have a little rage stream on a Monday. That's the day, Chantal. If you're going to rage all week, do it on a Monday. It's the, pro oh, the way I come home angry on a Monday, bitch. <laughs> I could do that every Monday with you. Anytime, Chantal, y'all, please give a, give us something, fuck. Ooh, survey, please. Will she lose her sugar, fo uh, sugar foot first or can a double forehead? Oh, boy. Yikes. <laughs> She's literally yawning in her own live stream. She does that, though. Okay, to be fair, she had raged. When she rages, she uses all her energy. It's like a, a toddler melting down. So at the end of it, ooh, she's fading. That's why she always loses the momentum in the rage streams pretty quick. The toddler, has, she's spent. She needs a little nap. <sighs> All right. We're going to now watch the video that had been put out that is clearly not present time. She's fucking with the timeline. Uh, shopping and iftar at city center in Kuwait during Ramadan. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Okay, that's hilarious. He's taking such good care of her. He's so devoted. He barely has time to trim his own toenails or ass hair. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here at the city center. We're gonna pick up a few things, have a look around. I'm particularly looking for a silver chain for a charm that I found that was my grandmother's. So I wanna wear it as a necklace. So the city center is like a huge. What? What, cha what, what charm did she find? Is this the return of the heart necklace? What the fuck is she talking about? What, what did she find? There's no charm. She's making this up. Whoa, that is a really sinister pause. Look at how crazy she looks. She's the devil. It, it's, it can't be an accident that I fall on these like pauses all the time. She is a demon and it comes out in the pauses, man. CPAP passport. Thank you for the super sticker. Center where you, there's so many things you can get clothes, food, uh, housewares, all kinds of things. So yeah, yellow, let's go shopping. Oof. I love the way he films her. I hate his guts, but he knows how to do. He, he and he knows what he's doing. Hold on. 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay. As she was going towards the front door, right around here, I'm like, oh, oh my God. Okay, there's going to be people. This is the first time we're seeing like outdoors of where they're going into. And look, there's no parking spaces. The cars everywhere. Just cars. Bitch. And then they get inside and then there's no one. What? Where do all the owners of these cars, where are they? Where do all the people go? Why is it like the Bermuda, the, the like Bermuda Triangle? Yeah. Of people in Kuwait. There's no parking spaces left. Where are the owners of all of these cars? I'm confused. Not one person yet. Okay, workers, that's fair. But like, that's too many. It's too many workers. What the fuck? There's no one there. You don't need all those workers when there's zero uh, custies. Oh, uh, wait. Yes. Oh my God. I saw um, Sinatra says on Twitter, <laughs> the 31 frame thing, and he's just giggling, giggling after every frame. It's so funny. And she's butthurt about it. You have to have a little bit of a sense of humor about yourself. If you can't laugh at that, what can you laugh at? That's funny. I have lots of clothes here. I bought a shirt from this place once. That blue one I have is from there. <laughs> Twinkie Pondu, thank you for the super chat. I know you're joking. I'm just going to say it seems the longer we know about Court and its residents, the more we find out for ourselves the truth. And I, I still, I have so many questions. So many questions. How? <laughs> one day I'd like to do a stream that's just like, what the Court? And it'll be all the questions that I have that, like, I need answers to this shit. How can the education be so different 30 minutes away or 30 minutes, like an hour away? There's something wrong. Is it the water? Is it Ontario? I don't know. Again, I have questions. What the corn? It'll be a live stream one day. Mm. Zero people. This wood here, guys, this is what they make bokor with um, incense. You burn it on uh, the coals. And they make fragrances also. All right, so we're going to look for a silver chain here at this store, <laughs> jewelry store. Mm hmm. They buy nothing. She's holding like one little bag. What? It's like a tease. I'm, listen, I'm glad that they go into the mall for once, I suppose. I have a big question mark about this trip. And again, where are all the people? But there's no purchasing. You're like loitering in the malls. And then in the live stream, trying to tell us all about all the money he's got. Why didn't he buy anything fancy at the mall? Why would you be buying a chain at the mall instead of like a real chain at the gold souk? I don't understand this. You are in the Middle East. You are in the Gulf. Who would go to a mall? To buy a silver, you're broke. It is what it is. Uh, pro the proximity to the U.S., well, then that should affect all of us. I live closer to New York State than I live to Cornwall, Ontario. Um, That can't be the answer. It would affect us all, and it only seems to affect Ontario. Oh, no, here, <laughs> Ontario resident. Whoops. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. At least Ryan Gosling got away from Corn. You know what's funny? He's from Corn. He's born in Corn. He doesn't even claim Corn. He claims to be from Ottawa. <laughs> How fucking embarrassing. I love that. BBJ is smiling. Thank you for the super sticker. Sadly, we checked a few places, but we couldn't find one that had exactly what I'm looking for. A type of real silver chain in my size. Just the chain that doesn't come with the charm. So I'm going to have to keep looking. So... Hopefully, in another sook somewhere in Kuwait, I will find one, I'm sure. So what you're saying is you couldn't find a chain to fit around your fat neck and they didn't sell anything from men. 
or they did and it was too expensive and you had to keep going. Uh -huh. I see. Okay. Saturday Baker, thank you for the super chat. I'm certain that someone paid to see her eat live and in person and salad arranges these live shows. Like, so. oh, you know, at this point, honest to God, I wouldn't be surprised. They're broke as fuck, probably looking for another source of revenue. She can't exactly hop into a bathtub full of peeps this time, can she? This makes sense. Look at this cool escalator with no stairs on it. Yeah, it's so cool. Your ass is as wide as it Whee! is. And your barrel bunt. So here's the food court. It's still closed until Maghreb time, which will be in about an hour. Also, I want to say I got recognized in public by a fan. So hello to you. Thank you for saying hi. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. There. That's okay. She got mad during the live. Like uh, this, that part right there is how everybody knows that she was lying about the timeline here. She's fudging the timeline. This video is from the past. Because a while back, she told us in a live stream that somebody had recognized her, a beezer, a viewer, had recognized her in Kuwait. That was a while back now. I'm going to say it's over a week ago now, or about a week ago now. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely not for the past couple of days. Unless there's now two people who have recognized her. I don't fucking think so. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. All right, we're going to go get some snacks. Yola. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't need snacks, whatever. All right, guys, we found an arcade, and because I'm a big kid, I love arcades. Oh, <laughs> I want a cute, creepy bee person. Notice the no ball on the foosball table? You know what that means. Too broke to play foosball? You're not going to put a fucking coin into the goddamn foosball thing? No. No. This is, this is uh, performative. They're not playing anything. Where's the ball? There's no ball. You got to pay for the ball. There's no ball. She's just playing with the knobs. <laughs> So I just wanted to show you guys this fun little area they had here inside this gigantic shopping center. This is one of those things you can <laughs> grab this heavy hammer and then hit it and try to get as much points as you can. Oh my God, Chantal, I will super chat you $10 right now. Right now! If you pay to do this, but instead of doing it with the hammer, you come and you plop down on it how you used to plop down on that kitchen chair. $10 right now, super chat. I swear to God. Go and do it, Chantal. You want to make money? This is how you're going to make money. <laughs> Flop over onto that thing like the chair in the kitchen. I want to see what that chair was taking every day. Let's be real. $10, yellow. And this, I don't know what that is. I think like a dancing station. And they even had a nice, big, full-size bowling alley inside. And we do want to go bowling again. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Who wheeze on an el uh, escalator? I almost said elevator. Who wheeze on an elevator? <laughs> what is wrong with you, Chantal? Again, someone who never leaves their home. Wee, she says, like she's on a roller coaster or something. Oh my God. Deep fried dreams. Thank you for the super chat. I love frogs. I love arcades. I love escalators. Wee. <laughs> We're leaving the food court to go do more shopping because we still have to wait and all I can smell is food and it smells so good. And I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Also, this center has a huge grocery store inside of sorts. Ah, uh, that's why we're there. And that's the only money we're going to spend at the mall. Look how happy she is when she's pushing a grocery cart around. Oh, CPAP passport. Thank you again for the super chat and they had some good deals so we picked up a few things mostly just some snacks and some things at the deli you know like cheese pickled beets olives and some deli meat stuff like that
this is me picking up these butter and herb crackers that I really like in soup. They're so good. Snacks and wait, 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 wait. Did she, she that's where she was checking someone out? Hold on, hold on. Some things at the deli, you know, like cheese, pickled beets, olives, and some deli meat, stuff like that. This is me picking up these butter and herb crackers. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't think I went back enough. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, never shop hungry, never shop high. Ooh, oof, oof. Wait. Friggin' oinker, I see Snickers. Yeah, she's already ate hella Snickers. Go back, that's where she looked the guy up and down. Okay, we're going, oh. Oh, I think that's the look. Okay, we're going back. Back to the wee. Alhamdulillah. Also, this center has a huge grocery store inside of sorts, and they had some good deals, so we picked up a few things. Charmuta. <laughs> Always a Chevy Silverado girl. Thank you for the super chat. We all know what knob she isn't playing with. <laughs> 100%. She's like playing with that foosball. She's like, this feels so good. He's like, stop it. I will not eat your ass eight hours. <laughs> He walks away, just leaves her there. It's like, ah, on the knobs. Things, mostly just some snacks and some things at the deli, you know, like cheese, pickled beets, olives, and some deli meat, stuff like that. Yeah, that's that. Hold on, lower your eyes, foodie beauty. This is interesting, isn't it? Because they say, um, how would you, in English, the first look is for me. But the second look is against me. But if you never break that first look, you just fucking undress someone so long and so hard with your eyes like that. Are you still on the first look? And does it make it halal? Something tells me it does not. You ham. <laughs> Frenchie's wrong tap. Thank you for the super chat. He put all that dairy in the car before she ate. Oh, gross. This is me picking up these butter and herb crackers that I really like in soup. They're so good. And I thought this was cute. Ramadan decorated Nutella jars. So these huge bag of sweets are sold for a tradition. Oh, it's the face of the thumbnail. Look at her. Wait, 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 wait. So these look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her face. Full. Oh god. First of all, you look like someone's diabetic grandmother who's like, oh god, I'd really like to get this bag of candy, but I don't know how I'm gonna get this bag of candy. Shh, fatty, step away from the like kilo bag of candy. You don't need it. That's for children. Look, look at what's in there, little lollipops and things like that. That's for kids for Ramadan. You don't need everything. That's for kids, for you, okay? Not everything is for you. Put it down. You're about to lose a sugar foot. Is it worth losing a sugar foot over one of those horrible lollipops? Walk away. She's such a pig. Look at the face she's making, too. It's not like, ooh, oh, no, this is dangerous for me. That face is like, how the fuck am I going to manage to get this in the cart without salad seeing it? This is her evil calculating mind. She wants that shit. Ugh. TC, honey, thank you for the super chat. Mostly picked up just some snacks, you know, the essentials. Yes, 10 kilos of candy. Checked off the list. Check. <laughs> Disgusting, man. Multiple kids. Absolutely. Oh, that's not for one kid for Ramadan. That's like multiple kids. And you're going to have, because normal people spend Ramadan with family. And there's always like, oh, these people coming over for dinner. Or you're going somewhere for dinner. When people come and there's kids, you have this fucking massive shit of candy for your kids, for their kids, for all the kids. Not for a sugar-footed 40-year-old death fat. Who, by the way, there's zero kids around. And family around. <laughs> Huge bag of sweets are sold for a traditional Kuwaiti celebration here during Ramadan called Yorkeyan, where children will dress up in traditional Kuwaiti attire, such as dara and dishdasha, right. and will go door to door asking for candies and nuts. And in exchange, they usually sing songs and uh, are dressed up. 
and this. Okay, that's cute. That's very cute. It's not for you. You're not a chill uh, children. You're not a children. You're not going to dress up. You're certainly not going door to door to sing. I'm a, is that why you've been <laughs> practicing your La Isla Bonita? <laughs> Picture it. <laughs> Great. 2024. You're fucking just like living your life. <laughs> okay. It's time for iftar. You go to eat your meal with your family. Ding dong at your door. You open the door. There's a 450 pound death fat in like an Easter bunny costume singing La Isla Bonita off tune in your face. <laughs> This is Al-Rafai, same as Salah's family name, and it's a popular roastery here in Kuwait, Syrian. Popular music is Chechem. Religious music, things like that, is not. It's Halal. They, they go around singing that kind of, you know what I mean? They have a huge Tang section here. Do you guys remember Tang as kids? <laughs> No, I never had Tang as a child. What? So Salah ran back to the car to put all the groceries in so we could eat in the food court. And he caught the sun going down. There was about five minutes left to Maghrib time or when Iftar starts, when we can break our fast. So I was waiting in the food court. We had already ordered the food and the sun was going down. What a sight. On his way back in, he captured some of the traditional Kuwaiti clothing that children would wear for Gurdayan. So cute. I love it. And look at this cute little mannequin. <laughs> so they have these nice hand washing stations and the those little uh clothes and stuff. Very cute. Very cute. Nothing to say. But it's weird to see her have to voice over something he obviously is the one who filmed because she hates kids. She would never have spent the time to film the outfits like that because she hates children. But he's the one who had gone to the car with the groceries. <laughs> so he's the one who filmed that. So she added the voiceover, of course, just to make the video a couple seconds longer. <laughs> Food court. So I took it upon myself to give my hands a ritz with some water. So for Iftar, we decided to try this. Ital I'm sorry for the quick. Oh, Italian restaurant. Interesting. Okay. I'm sorry for the quick pause. Does he want children? Yes, he does want children. Uh, it's literally in the first couple of days, I believe, of talking to Kybella, what he asked her if she's like fertile and if he, if she can have children and also how much money she makes. <laughs> Italian restaurant that didn't serve Italian food. <laughs> So for my meal, I had mall Chinese food, spicy potatoes, chow mein. What does potatoes have to do with Chinese food? First of all, that food looks god awful. Oh my God. Mall Chinese food is one thing. This is an abomination. Who would pay for that? Oh, that looks like, I don't know, oh, my early 20s, had no money, got drunk, came home and had to whip something up with what I have. Oh, okay, I have pasta and I have carrots. Boom. But like, you know what I mean? What the fuck is this? Turtle kaboosh. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, God. Has there been more? We were following them along, but it's true. I zoned out and forgot that. Oh. She deleted them. Okay, no. We had seen the one about Kalari and then the one about me. She's crazy. Uh, I, I don't know what more to say than that. And the fact that she's now defending, oh, maybe it's because that woman was once a beezer. I don't know. Very fucking weird. Whatever. In spicy chicken, a pomegranate soda, and some a side of grape leaves. And, of course, uh, they give you some. Wow. I don't know about you, but when I think of Chinese food, the first thing that comes to mind is I better have a side of grape leaves? What the fuck? dates to break your fast with and a ice cold bottle of water. I can't wait to drink that, let me tell you. So yeah, Italian restaurant that serves um, mall Chinese. 
And Salah opted for the chicken like I had, some pasta bechamel, and some rice. I have a theory. Oh, I have a theory. What? It, okay, this is clearly not an Italian restaurant, and both of these meals look god awful. What if this is some kind of like, you know, the like food pantry thing where they got their groceries, that section at the grocery store? What if this is like a thing that they do during Ramadan where you can go, you go to that mall, and you eat for free? And this is what they're giving away to eat for free. You pick what you want and it's free and whatever. And that's why it's like, it doesn't look great at all. Like who the fuck would eat this? Let's be real. I think I'm onto something with this. A lot of th like associations and things like th this would happen during Ramadan. It's not so far fetched. This is Ramadan. And that food, nobody would pay money for takeout for that food. You know, I think that's what it is. Rice and a orange Kinza drink and water, of course, as well. <laughs> a soup kitchen like honest to god okay um all muslims have to um like donate a certain amount of like the profits let's say that they make in a year called zakat i believe is what it's called um now we're talking right now we're in one of the richest countries in the world okay so picture one of the actual super super rich kuwaitis and if they're donating a percentage of their profits of the year that's in extreme amount of money uh you know what i mean feeding like doing this like re let's say renting the space in the mall and doing these meals it's a, it would be a drop in the bucket of the zakat that some of these wealthy kuwaitis would be doing i really think this is what it is i think 100 this is what it is because this meal neither hers nor his makes any sense at all whitlow thank you for the super chat what <laughs> what <laughs> No, thank you so much for saying that, and thank you for the super chat, and thank you for being here. Look at her. Yeah, her legs are wide open. She just tried to drag her guts under the table. Look, her gut, her gut's like fully ass on the table, and he is filming from above so that we get a real good look at that gut on the table. She just like like eh, eh, sideways trying to like tuck one of the barrels under the table. I believe awkward. <laughs> Let's dig in. God, she's making it, it. It looks like she's sitting at a child's table. You know those little tables at IKEA with the little tiny chairs for kids. They're plastic. They're small. The table is round. You know. You know what I mean. They've had that shit for years and years. It looks like she's sitting at a, one of those kid tables. This is just a table at the mall for grown ass people. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. And this was before YouTube paycheck. Good point. It absolutely was. Oh, geez. Oh. Here it looks like we have more traditional Gagayan outfits, this time for girls and young ladies. You know, we always point out things. It's like, oh, that should be your red flag. How do you see that and not change your behavior and stuff? This is an edited video, not a live stream. How did you edit this? So you saw your gut on the table. and You saw how you made that table and chair look like it was meant for a child. And you're just, you're cool. 
That's not a wake up call. No, that's fine. It was it was a small table. <laughs> the table was fat shaming her. Oh my god. <laughs> cats are fucking freaking out and taking off they're like we know what you did with julia don't touch us naomi thank you so much for being here girl thank you for the super chat hilda's got you come uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, it's done. It's done with more driving around Kuwait at the end there. Just like it started. Wow. I like that video. At least we're out of the house. I'll give it that. We're in a mall. It's under false pretense. I bet that's why she didn't put it out in real time. In case somebody had Googled that mall and found out that that's what they were doing. They were giving away food or something for like meals like that for Ramadan. So she waited on the video. And turned it into, no, we're going shopping. Well, you didn't buy anything. Anything at all. And it did seem sussy to me that you would buy a chain at that place. It was never about a chain or buying anything. You went there for the free meal during Ramadan. That's fine. Nothing wrong with needing a free meal, Chantal. But don't lie to us. Because it's kind of embarrassing that we're going to go out of our way to find you out on this lie. Do you understand? You did it to yourself, girl. Should have just been honest. Mm. Keep telling us how not broke you guys are. Say la vie. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Feed me Chantal Gunther. <laughs> 100%. Gunther's trying to eat the fucking table. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Rich country, but they don't spay and release. Do they not? I don't know that they don't. I have no idea. Maybe you know that they don't. I don't know. Oh, that's really fucked. New community post? Tabarnak this bitch. Go to bed. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> We're just about done. Perfect timing. Thank you for the heads up. All right. Can y'all see? Let me nasty enhance this. Shh, shush phone. No one's listening. Yeah, yeah, I deleted my post. You know why? Because I actually feel guilt when I lower myself to that level. I have no idea, and I'll never understand this, how these people whom I call out can use their platforms to say and do the most vile things daily and not feel any guilt or any... uh or not realize how bad this makes them look worse than those they criticize actually. 100, I'm going to pause right there and say 100% not. I've never abused an animal and I don't want to shit on people. I'm not a cheater and I certainly don't come all over Bibles and shit. Go on. <clears throat> oh, well, yes, I'm not meant to understand I am meant to stay focused on my life. I will try harder to do that. It's so hard when all you want to do is defend yourself. Defend yourself. Fuck off. Fuck all the way off. Defend yourself. Stay off of the internet. You don't have to defend yourself. It's Ramadan. And if you're doing nothing wrong, there's nothing to defend. Stay off of the internet. Learn how to control your mouth. You're 40 years old, 450 pounds, pounds with a sugar foot and a fake husband, and not one single person on this planet buying any of your shit anymore. Grow the fuck up while you still can. Oh, grow up while you can still stand up on two feet. Damn. Anywho, listen, for tonight, that is us caught up in real time on her live stream, her video, and all of her community tab, meltdown, deletion, and then, of course, playing a victim. That's a, like a whole cycle in a night. <laughs> and it's only Monday. <laughs> Ramadan. Ramadan. <laughs> I love this. Ah, oh, her birthday's coming. She's going to get part two of the documentary. We're all getting part two. Happy birthday, Chantal. Give us a real good rage on that day. Mm. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Raging on her community post equals Kalari more than doubling her subscriber count. That's fantastic. Well done. 
Welcome to the hated gang, Kalari. Um, it's not everybody who can piss her off that bad. You did something special tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. And Girl Gang, thank you everybody for supporting Kalari and giving Chantal the big middle finger. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Tomorrow is 11 years since I quit smoking. Whoa, that's amazing, Pixie. Congratulations one day in advance. Wow, that is not nothing at all. That's heavy. Well done, Pixie. Fuck, 11 years, man. <sighs> that was great. Oh, Oh, <laughs> see, now you're speaking my language, craft and swag. FFG, can we go out on the four wheeler video? You can ask me that question from now until the end of time. And the answer is always going to be yes. Hold on. I wasn't uh, ready for this request. I'm going to have to load up my Twitter tab, but I finally figured out how to have Twitter on the computer. So like NASA, <laughs> hold on. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I got it. Needless to say. <clears throat> uh, maps do matter. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it, girl. Oh, thank you for the great suggestion of the peanut H nodding. We're just H and off video. <laughs> Y'all listen, we are caught up in Shantopolis in real time. Feels good. Love that. It is 8.06 p.m. my time at 9 p.m. So that means uh, just under one hour from now, we will be live over on the Twitch. We will be gaming. We're going to play a little bit of the murder game and then we can play a little bit of like the rap battle game or whatever the fucking games you guys want to play. But we're starting with murder. It's Monday. Murder Monday just feels right. All right. Um, Inshallah, we get another rage from Chantal tomorrow after all the reactors like have their way with her rage stream from tonight. We usually, or sometimes, get a, a second wind rage out of her. So fingers crossed, that's our Tuesday. If it is, you know, we will be back watching together, watching the rage, trying to poke that beer. Uh, if not, I do have something very fun, very fun retro. Uh -huh. It's another time. It's like night and day compared to where we are now. So one way or another, we'll be watching her half for tomorrow, okay? Um, hope to see you guys later gaming on the Twitch. If not, see you tomorrow right here back on my YouTube. Whatever y'all are doing with the rest of your night, please have fun. Have a great night. Be safe, all right? And I'll see you either in just under one hour or tomorrow uh, to end our stream tonight. <laughs> Can we say by popular demand? Because I love that. By popular demand, it's peanut on heroin to Chantal on the scooter. Good night, girls. <laughs>